Competitive intelligence is totally broken. And I want to talk about how to fix it. The problem with competitive intelligence is it's reactive. The sales team comes in and complains and we end up reacting and copying competitor features. The second issue is that it's based on one-off projects instead of a continuous program that delivers value to the business. But what I hate most of all is that most competitive intelligence studies competitors instead of studying buyers and users and what they need. In fact, you could call it competitor intelligence instead of competitive intelligence. What does that have to do with a jazz band? We'll get back to that in just a minute. Take five. Let me tell you some things that I hate. Ever since I was young, I hate products that are in, in undifferentiated. They all look the same. And as a product builder, it's very unmotivating to work on products where we copy our competitors. But most of all, it's a problem for our investors and also for our users. It just doesn't work for anyone. I have been working for 25 years as a product manager and 10 years at Eigenworks, trying to develop tools and processes and approaches that will help fix this problem. And Lean Startup is a great way to fix competitive intelligence. At the Lean Startup Conference, I'm proposing two talks. I'd like to bring the jazz band for one, but my talks I'd like to do one Ignite talk, the five minute um, talk where I'll give an overview of this entire process. In a more in-depth talk, I'd like to bring in one of our clients named BlackBot, a $500 million software company for nonprofits. They're transforming their company and trying to grow to a $1 billion company based in part on using lean startup methods and this approach to competitive intelligence. It's informing everything that they do, including their product plans, helping them align their teams, and more importantly, create products that the market wants them to create and recapture a position of leadership that they naturally own in the market. So, what does this have to do with jazz? Well, for me, jazz is a bit of a personal passion. It's the way I think about being creative. We listen to each other and try to create something new. It's about innovation, creativity, and exchanged meaning. So we'll talk a little bit about that as well at the conference. Let me take the bridge, guys. 